I've always been told if you're looking to tow a big trailer, just go ahead and jump up to the one ton pickup truck, which is the 3500. And if it's a really big trailer, you definitely need to go to the dually because obviously you have more tire capacity, you have a higher axle rating out back, and stability is king when you're towing big and heavy. But I've also been told by people at RV dealers or even automotive dealers that if all you're looking to do is tow recreational trails like your camper, all you need is a 2500. Because in some cases, and they have been right in a lot of cases, they have more towing capacity than the one tons. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the time that I read a comment that was so savage, it made me trade in my three quarter ton 2500. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah. If you are in the market, be sure to give these guys a look up. They are discounting these trucks and I was actually here to do a video on another limited Ram and it sold. So these trucks are going pretty quick, even at $107,000 with no changes. Anytime you're looking at a Ram pickup, you have to understand the engine options because this 3500 has the high output Cummins and on this side is the standard output Cummins. If you look under the hood, you probably won't notice much differences. The only way you could tell which Cummins it is, is by locating the dipstick for the transmission. So with the standard output, it's on the passenger side and the high output has it on the driver's side. So the question I used to get so much and a lot of people would kind of be frustrated about this, especially when these trucks got redesigned, was why can't I get the high output and the three quarter ton? Let me explain why. This Eisen transmission is about 250 pounds or so heavier than the 68 RFE transmission. So we'll discuss that in a second, but for right now, I'm just gonna put a pin in that. Now, a lot of people will make arguments that this three quarter ton is the exact same truck as the one ton. And they'll say you don't need to get a 3500 one ton truck to do what a three quarter ton can do. So I'm gonna prove them right. Because when you look at the tires, right? These tires have 3,640 pounds of capacity at 80 PSI. If you look at it for the three quarter ton, 3,640 pounds of capacity at 80 PSI. And that is cold, by the way. They also have the same suspensions on the front end, solid front axles. So there's not much differences in these two trucks. Now, going back to the engines, right? The high output does have more horsepower and torque, but I have proven on a couple of occasions that the three quarter ton is actually faster off the line. Now, some can argue it's because this truck is heavier and you would be right. This truck is heavier, which means this truck is actually a little bit more capable of towing, but you just heard that that high output Cummins does have a heavier transmission. Also, let's look at the frames real quickly. So here's the frame on the three quarter ton. See that? So here's the frame. And then on the one ton, notice how much different the frame is on this side of the house. This frame is gonna be a little bit thicker. You can see some of the welding right there. This frame's just a little bit more robust compared to the three quarter ton. Also, the three quarter ton rams have a different suspension setup. So this truck has those coiled springs out back. However, this Ram 3500 has a leaf spring setup. So this truck is heavier, not only because of the transmission, but because of the hardware that it has. So it is kind of true. The three quarter ton and one tons are very similar, but where it really counts at, the one ton is more overbuilt. The same argument can be made out back for people who say that the one ton and three quarter tons are the same truck. They have the same axle ratings out back. So this truck has a 373, and so does the three quarter ton because they're both diesel options. The only exception to the rule is the dually. If you get a dually, you can get a 410, and therefore you have lower gearing out back. 
They also both have class five receiving hitches. They're both available with fifth row prep packages. So you can see both trucks have that option. And if I were to go online, I'm willing to bet you in some cases, this three quarter ton will have a little bit higher towing capacity versus the single rear wheel one tons. But it does not really matter. And here's why. I know there's not a lot of regulations currently for people who have horse trailers or recreational vehicle trailers, but they put these numbers on the door for a reason. And let me explain that a little bit. So as you guys can see, the axle ratings for this truck is 6,000 up front and the rear is 7,000 pounds. Also note, this truck does have a 12,300 pound gross fuel co weight rating. The three quarter ton, it's gonna have the same rating up front. See, hopefully you see it, 6,000. However, you see that? 6,040 pounds for the axle rating in the rear. 10,000 pound gross fuel co weight rating. I was always so confused by the 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating, 11.8, 12.3, and there's all the numbers too for like the single cab trucks. But that gross fuel weight rating sets your payload because once you add all of your options, all your features to the truck, your curb weight is going to basically set your payload. So if you take the gross fuel weight rating and let's just pretend it's 12,000 pounds for easy numbers. Let's just say this truck weighs exactly 8,000 pounds. That's 4,000 pounds of payload capacity. So let's see what the actual payload is for this truck and I'll show you guys the numbers. So for the one ton, you have 3,708 pounds. So the curb weight of this truck is actually 8,592 pounds. So if you take 12,300 gross vehicle weight rating, subtract it from the payload, right? 3,708, that's gonna give you that 8,592 curb weight for this truck. Now, this is where we go back to what I said earlier. When I was in the forum one time, I read a comment that literally put me in my place and the reason why I actually sold my three quarter ton. So, at the time, my Ram had less payload than this. So this truck is 2,083 pounds, right? That's the payload. Now, if you take the 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating and subtract it from 2,083, you get 7,917 pounds. So this truck is significantly lighter than the one ton, but also you have to understand, this truck does have a 50 gallon fuel tank and that is going to lower the payload a little bit because compare a uh, 50 gallon to a 31 gallon fuel tank yeah you're going to have a heavier truck because of that also this truck does have the long bed but keep in mind that 12.3 gvwr is an increase from 11,800 pounds because of the longer bed so ram does adjust for this truck if you get a long bed three quarter ton from ram they do not change that 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating so as i said earlier right if you were able to get the high output cummins in this truck so this truck has a 2,083 pound payload capacity right if you take 250 pounds off of that that's what the payload would be and this truck is not option all the way out there's still a few options this truck could have like the center console it could also have the spray and bed liner i mean this one does have the sunroof but it does have a few things missing which would decrease the payload capacity of this truck so 1833 could look closer to like 16 to 1500 pounds if this was a limited trim package and if you don't really understand all this stuff this is where the smoking gun comes in at if you look at a trailer online right now, let's say it's a fifth wheel, let's say it's 30 foot, 32 foot, somewhere in there. That trailer is gonna have a pin weight, a dry hitch weight, pin weight, whatever you wanna call it, of around 12 to 1400 pounds. This truck has a 2000 pound payload capacity. 
when you add your family, let's just say your family's 500 pounds, take 500 from 2,083, that's 1,583. Now keep in mind, if you have a hitch, your hitch could be about 250 to 300 pounds. You get to that GVWR or you exceed that payload so much quicker with the three quarter tons. So basically, this truck is not really set up to tow a fifth wheel and it's basically a bro truck so if you like to lift your truck if you're going to put bigger wheels and tires on it and you're not planning on towing this is the perfect hd pickup to do it with because you can't tow much with it because of that payload capacity now obviously again you do have the towing capacity rating but if you take 20 percent of 18,000 pounds trust me when i say this you're going to be over your payload capacity so it doesn't matter what the towing capacity is you cannot exceed the payload or the gross fuel weight rating of this truck and that's what really helped me to switch over to one tons and why i don't buy three quarter ton pickups because this is literally a bro truck now if you are looking at ford and gm i will admit those trucks have making the changes to be able to accommodate a slightly larger fifth wheel so up to about 12,000 pounds in some cases the three-quarter ton segment of those pickups can actually tow a decent size fifth wheel up to about 12,000 pounds but again it depends on how you load your pickup with your passengers and your gear so that's why I say what I say all the time I cannot wait till Ram changes this gross fuel quay rating because this is literally a bro truck it's not a true workhorse and I'm hoping when Ram does their complete redesign, they follow suit. Now, a lot of guys in the comment section that are hot shotters are gonna get mad at me for making this video because they're like, dude, if you need more payload, just go to the one ton. Don't mess with the 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating. I get why that is because that means you can tow up to 16,000 pounds because once you go over 26,001 pounds with your truck and trailer, which is the gross combined weight rating, you have to get commercial license, especially if you're working for hire. So. I will tell you this, with Ford and GM, they do have the 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating option available. So you can derate the three quarter tons. And I'm sure Ram will still allow that option. So yes, most of the trucks coming to dealerships we're gonna have the higher gross fuel weight rating if they do change it. But they really need to make that change because I could never make this truck work for myself right now. With the trailers that I tow, I could never use a Ram. I had one and as I said, I got out of it because I was like, man, I know that there's not a lot of regulations around what I tow, but at any moment they can change that because they're changing things so much so fast now that at some point they might change that for recreational vehicles. So I would rather already have what I need so I don't have to worry about it versus not having enough truck. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out again to Larry H. Miller, Super Ford. I do these videos all the time because I really want Ram to change the ratings on these trucks. I really think that the Ram is probably one of the best towing rigs out there. But if you don't have the payload capacity, it doesn't really matter.